Now, as you know, over 80 million of you understand that I love heat. But what happens when you get the heat of the hot ones and mix it with some vegan ingredients? A dish that goes bang. That's right. I want to show you a delicious vegan dish, bang bang cauliflower. Now, Oscar, zoom in, please, because we've got cauliflower broken down into what we call florets. These little flowers with the stalk. Rice, limes, bok choy, chili, ginger, dry chilies, onions, a little bit of cilantro or coriander, depending where you are. The secret of this dish is delicious and it's going to turn you vegan in nine minutes and 59 seconds. Let's have 10 minutes on the clock, please. Right, we're going to shallow fry the cauliflower. Pan, nice and clean. Hot pan for the bang bang sauce, okay? Get that up to temperature. Don't put any oil in there yet. I don't want to burn the oil, okay? A floret, hold the cauliflower down, lift your knife up and just go around the stalk. And what happens, look, these little florets come off, okay? And they're like these beautiful little flowers. And the stalks, don't throw away, great for soups. Now, once you've got all these wonderful florets, okay, lightly season them. Don't worry if they break up a little bit, but it's just so flavoursome, and that's where the idea of this sort of dish comes from. I started making this with chicken, bang, bang chicken, bang, bang pork, but with cauliflower, so tasty. In here, I've got some rice flour, salt, some pepper. No chilli in there yet, just a nice dust of salt and a nice dusting of pepper in there. In go your florets, okay? And what we want to do now is just mix up those florets. The rice flour gives it that really nice sort of coating, and it helps get the cauliflower really nice and crispy, okay? So just dredge the cauliflower in there for a little bit, okay? Now, I'm going to use sesame oil and olive oil, okay? And it's almost like a sort of, it's going to be like a shallow fry, not deep fry, there's a big difference. Sesame oil in, and then some olive oil in, okay? And just bring that up to temp. Don't go crazy on the temperature. If it becomes too hot, move the pan over and just let it cool down. Okay, now, watch what happens when I drop these in. We get this really nice crispy shell in. Okay. Bearing in mind, every time you go into that pan, you're bringing the temperature down, so be careful, okay? Use the heat accordingly. Now roll that around. Flood the pan with too much in there, you turn the cauliflower really soggy, okay? So be smart. Now, gauge the heat, look at the colour. Listen to the noise. Turn the heat up a little bit because the cauliflower has brought the temperature of the oil down. Now, for that bang bang sauce. Okay, we're gonna start off with some beautiful fresh ginger and onion. We're gonna sweat that off first. Just slice the onion in half, take off the root, and then literally get some texture in that sauce. Down and slice in. Pans on. We don't need to colour the onion, we need to sort of melt the onion, OK? So, in, olive oil in, just a touch. We want to melt this, OK? Up with the gas, and onion in. From there, we want some freshness. Beautiful ginger, give that a nice little sauté. Pan down, please, Oscar. Look what's happening to that beautiful rice flour. It's starting to coat, it's like this nice little blanket that gets crispy on the outside touch of salt in this bang bang sauce. Fresh ginger, just slice it down. I like it quite chunky because I want to I want to feel that flavour. I want to sort of almost, you know, get excited about the freshness when you crunch that ginger, you know, in your teeth. It sort of it lifts up your teeth and it's like the, the sort of the perfect cleanser because it makes your breath fresh and it is so fragrant. Fresh ginger in chopped, almost like little batons. Ginger goes in. Now, I'm going to start with the heat, OK? In goes the chilli. Look at my cauliflower. Two pans rolling. Now, this is the difference between shallow frying and deep frying, OK? I'm keeping the heat in the pan. I'm keeping these little flirts of cauliflower nice and sort of separate so they don't stick together. But look at the colour of them. Sauce is working beautifully. All we're doing now is melting down that onion and that beautiful ginger. From there, this is where it starts to go up a level. A little bit of hot sauce in. Next, 
A little touch of garlic. Don't go crazy in the garlic. Slice. Little blades in. And flake that over. I want the sort of sweetness, but not caramelised. Once that hot sauce starts taking place, after that, a little bit of sweet chilli sauce in there. Now, look what's happened to that sauce. And then, my maple syrup. And that starts to come together as this rich, bang, bang, beautiful sauce. Now, turn that gas off and let that sit there. But, get your lime, roll that round, and just hit that bang, bang sauce with some fresh lime. That's gonna lift that together. Onions are melting, the garlic is apparent, and that ginger is giving it that nice fragrance. Now, cauliflower, look. I've got the color on the cauliflower. How do I make that just a little bit more vibrant? I'm loving the color, okay? It needs something green. So I just take a beautiful bok choy. I've cleaned it under the water. I go through the top once, through the side once, and then back to the top again. Scrunch it up, and look, all I'm doing now, we call it like a little sort of chiffonade, and it's just thin, nice slices of bok choy, and that gives it a little bit of freshness across that cauliflower. Stalks as well. Nice, in. Open that up. I'm gonna drop that in to my cauliflower, okay? Give that a nice toss. Now, I love it quite hot. You saw in the hot ones, I can take a lot of heat now. Get your chili seeds in, but I want this to be sort of almost like a raw chili, because it goes in at the end, okay? Chili in, and now look, you can see, oh, there's hardly any oil in there. We've now got that color on that cauliflower. Everything is so vibrant. And then literally gas off, sauce is set. And I'm gonna just finish this now with my lime. And then look, hit that. That smells incredible. Look at the color. That comes out. Look, you can see how that cauliflower is toasted. And when I say toasted, I mean it's sort of shallow fried but crispy. That bok choy gives it the lift. And the chili is thrown in literally seconds before it comes out. And that bok choy brings it together. Before I serve, I get my sauce. I'm just gonna literally drizzle that around. I like it on the outside, so I don't make all the center soggy. And then finally, fresh coriander, sliced once, and I mean once, because I'm just gonna drop it over. Boy, that there, honestly, after 30 years of cooking, makes me want to turn vegan for a minute. To all of you, thank you for watching Ramsey in 10. If I went too quick, I apologize, but slow it down. Now, don't forget to pick up Ramsey in 10, cookbook inspired by this series. And trust me, you're gonna come out a much better chef. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my amazing YouTube channel for more. Good luck.